how would it feel to wake with more beautiful skin than the day before? Listen, incorporating a healthy skin routine is a process. It's not something that just happens overnight. I have not had the nicest skin most of my life, but I am working on a mission to glow this year. I have recently found an amazing trio of skincare uh, products and I've been using this face cleanser, essence, and moisturizer every day and using a DIY face mask one to two times per week. And my skin looks and feels amazing. Today, I'm going to show you how simple it is to make a simple DIY face mask. Let's talk about the simple ingredients in this face mask first. I have been playing around with various oils in my masks like tea tree and lavender until I tried Kunzia. And now I am hooked. Kunzia essential oil comes from Australia and Young Living released it back in 2018. It has become a favorite among many oilers. It's steam distilled from the white and pink flowers from the Kunzia plant. Similar in composition to tea tree essential oil, Kunzia may improve the appearance of skin and works to soothe fatigued muscles. The aroma of Kunzia is milder than tea tree. It's clean, spicy, and woodsy, so if you enjoy the benefits of tea tree, you will also enjoy Kunzia. Bentonite clay is literally ancient. It has been around for thousands of years. Bentonite clay or calcium bentonite is derived from volcanic ash sediments. This 100% natural clay helps pull out toxins, oils, and imperfections from the skin. It has a healing and soothing effect when applied to irritated skin. Use it on stubborn blemishes or even a bug bite to reduce inflammation. Apple cider vinegar is a must have for any natural living home. Apple cider vinegar is fermented from apples, sugar, and yeast. Be sure to use only the raw and filtered apple cider vinegar with the mother. This will help ensure that you receive the maximum amount of good bacteria and raw enzymes. To make your glowing skin mask, you're gonna need one tablespoon of betonite clay, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and three to four drops of Kunzi essential oil. Combine the clay and vinegar in a bowl and then stir in the Kunzia. Mix well with a spoon to remove any clumps and then you're gonna apply it to your face, avoiding your eyes and mouth. Let it dry for about 10 to 12 minutes. Rinse with warm water or a washcloth to remove and then finish with your favorite moisturizer. Use this one to two times a week or as needed. Tea tree, manuka, lavender, or frankincense can be substituted for Kunzia with amazing results. The vinegar will fizz a bit as it reacts with the clay. Once mixed, the consistency should resemble a smooth paste. The mask will tingle a bit and then crack and flake off your skin when it's time to remove. The mask is slightly messy and can be hard to get off your face. I have had the best results with wetting a few paper towels to get the bulk of it off and then rinsing the rest with warm water. Less mess. <laughs> Once you've removed your face mask, your skin will be slightly pink. Don't be alarmed. That means the clay did its job. Check the link above or below this video to get the oils you want.